Despite the end of the Royal Commission, the bad news just keeps on coming for the banks. Lawyers have launched a class action against Westpac, alleging it breached responsible lending laws. Here's finance correspondent Philip Lasker. Michelle Tate doesn't see herself as the public face of a groundbreaking legal battle. We just an average family that it decided to um, build a nest egg. Building that nest egg saw a single income family of five borrow $1.8 million through five loans to buy four properties. It was all too easy and eventually the financial burden became too much to bear. It's just devastating. We've lost everything. We've sold our family home. Michelle Tate is seeking more than $400,000 in compensation as the lead plaintiff in the class action accusing Westpac of irresponsible lending. And this one seeks compensation for those thousands of Australian consumers who have been recklessly overcommitted by Westpac and have been offered loans that they could not afford to repay. The Royal Commission has opened the door to similar action against other banks. We are certainly going to see more enforcement action by our regulator, uh, the Australian Securities and Investments Commission, but I also predict more private litigation. In a statement, Westpac said it takes its responsible lending obligations very seriously and will be defending the claims against it. A loss would be costly for the bank. If we end up with thousands of customers, then it's tens of millions, yes. The courts haven't yet ruled on what banks need to do to comply with the responsible lending laws, but it may not take long to find out. Philip Lasker, ABC News.